The forests in the eastern United States are mainly deciduous forests. The trees and shrubs in this type of forest lose their leaves in the fall. Deciduous forests are adapted to live in areas with four full seasons. They need warm, wet summers and cold winters, but not the frigid winters of the far north. These trees tend to grow in mid latitudes, and they are found all over the world. They grow not too close to the frozen poles, and yet far from the year-round heat of the tropics. They support a large community of plants and animals, which are adapted to the rhythm of the seasons. Some animals migrate to warmer climates during the winter. Some animals hibernate, and other animals tough out the winter, foraging for what little food they can find, or living off of what food they squirreled away in the fall. Deer, rabbits, beavers, chipmunks, squirrels, and many more animals live here happily. So, what happens when the climate changes? In this case, the correct temperature of the globe, which is right for these forests, actually moves away from the equator and towards cooler lands. In the United States, it ends up moving to the north. Animals can pick up and walk to a better location. Birds can fly. But what about trees? Can they move? Well, individual trees can't pick up and walk to cooler climates like a coyote or a raccoon, but the range of the forest can actually shift. What usually happens is that trees in the area that is too warm weaken and die, while seedlings on the colder part of the range tend to survive a little better than before and more grow into adulthood. The forest thickens in the north, and the next generation of seeds spreads even further north. Slowly and gradually, the forest begins to creep towards the climate that it needs. The key issue is time. Trees take decades to grow. Can you imagine how long it would take for an entire forest to shift its range even a few miles north or south? Climate naturally changes all the time, and most of the natural processes are slow enough that both plants and animals have the time they need to move, adapt. And find other ways to survive, but human-caused climate change is happening way too fast for entire ecosystems to shift around. Climate change also takes its toll on forests in other ways. Stronger storms, flooding, and sea level rise also weaken forests. Besides climate change, human beings build houses and roads through forests. They pollute and bring invasive species into environments where they don't belong, and we destroy habitat in other ways as well. We tend to look at these problems one at a time, but forest ecosystems experience these problems altogether, and it's harmful.